Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can pair an Android phone with an Oregon 700 GPS to use the Garmin Connect app for Connect features such as live track and getting messages from your phone on the screen of the GPS. The first thing you need to do on your Android phone is make sure you go to the Play Store on your phone. So you go to the Play Store on your phone, Google Play, and you make sure you search for the app and just download the app from the Play Store. I've already actually got the app on the phone that I'm using today. So if I look on the screen of this Android phone, we've got the Garmin Connect app. Once you download the app, you just follow the on-screen instructions to create your Garmin Connect account. So if I touch on that Garmin Connect app, it's telling me that Bluetooth's turned off. I haven't got anything synced with this at the moment. Normally when you first turn the app on, you have this snapshot screen up here. But we haven't yet got the phone connected with the GPS device. What we need to do on the GPS device first before we start the connection process, turn the GPS on, which I've already done. So I've got the Oregon 700 here today. Press and release the on-off button on the side of the unit to go to the bottom drawer menu. And then we touch on setup, which is the setup spanner in the top left of the screen. And we select Bluetooth because we're going to turn on the Bluetooth. So it now tells us to install the app on the phone, which we've already done, and that it's ready to pair. So that's what we do on the GPS. We go to Setup and Bluetooth and leave it on this screen, ready to pair. What we're now going to do on the phone, I'm just going to close the app down on the phone. We need to go to the settings on your phone. So on this Android phone, I'm just going to find the set settings, cogwheel settings icon, go into settings, and I need to make sure that Bluetooth's turned on. So I'm going to select Bluetooth in the settings on my Android phone. I can see at the top there I've got Bluetooth off. It's turned off. So I'm just going to slide the bar at the side here to turn the Bluetooth on. And it'll start to search for any devices. What I often find if I can't find something straight away, the best thing to do is either turn the Bluetooth on and off. Or what you'll normally find on an Android phone, you'll have a refresh button. On this phone, it's the three white dots at the top of the screen that we use for refresh. So if I touch on there, I get the option of refresh at the top. So I'm just going to select refresh and get it to search again. And just give it a chance to search. I can now see it's found in Oregon 700. GPS device. So I can touch on the Oregon 700 under available devices and what will happen is it takes about 10-15 seconds it'll come up with a pair code. So we've now got a pairing request code which what we can see is exactly the same code that we've got on the screen of the GPS device. So on the actual phone itself you just touch on the wording pair that appears underneath the pair code. So we just touch on pair and allow that to now pair. So at the top of the screen now on the phone it now says paired devices and we can see the Oregon 700 listed under paired devices. So if we put that down now and on back on the GPS screen it tells us that it's now connected and it's got the wording done at the bottom. So if we select on done on the GPS device now we can see status connected Notification show, which means any messages that come through from your phone, as long as you've got the Connect app open on the phone, will appear on the screen of the GPS. You can turn notifications off so you don't see text messages, notifications from your phone by selecting the hide. And then we can go back to notifications to say show. It's got the name of the phone here. It's a Vodafone 8, uh, 895N. So again, it's got the phone already connected. So on the actual GPS, I can just hit the little back arrow and the little cross to come out of there. Back arrow again, because we're finished with the pairing. And now if I go back to the actual phone itself, and I'll just bring the phone back on, and Bluetooth still turned on, we can still see the Oregon 700 listed under paired devices. So now that I'm finished with the Bluetooth, I'm gonna close that down on this phone just by touching the little button at the bottom of the screen. And what we need to do is go back to the Connect app on the phone, touch on the Connect app, just to open that up. We've now got the Connect app open and on the Connect app you touch the three white bars at the top of the screen to go into the settings on the app and if we scroll down to the bottom on the app we'll see an option of Garmin devices. So if I touch on Garmin devices I can see there now it's got the Oregon 700 connected at the top and if I hit the little sync now that'll actually sync with the Oregon 700 any data. So we've now actually got the GPS device connected to the phone and as long as you have the connect open if anyone wants to send me a text message to my phone it would appear on the screen of the GPS device. So I hope you found this video useful on how you pair 
an Android phone with an Oregon 700 GPS device using the Garmin Connect app that you download from the Play Store. And thanks for watching this video.